I'd like to remind people I was at every single minute of every single committee hearing, and I heard every word that came out of the senator's mouth. And frankly, he had an obligation to be forthright and honest with the people of Illinois. He was asked to do that um, from the Senate leadership uh, and the Democratic uh, caucus in Washington. That was what people expected. And he had the opportunity. He was asked a very specific question by Representative Durkin. It shouldn't have taken some special legalese action to get him to answer the question honestly and forthright. And not to mention that. We've only been talking about that one specific question from Representative Durkin, but there was a follow-up later on from Representative Jill Tracy where she gave him another opportunity to clear the record, to make it clear to people, and she asked him, was there anyone else besides Lon Monk that you spoke with out of those names? And he said, I cannot recall. So it can't be any clearer. He lied. It was a lie of omission, and I think it's a very serious allegation, and it should be investigated. I'll tell you what my absolute concern here is that he has not been forthright and honest from the get-go. We're on like version number four. I mean, what's tomorrow's story going to be? Maybe he remembered he actually did write a check. I mean, who knows? I'm certainly not accusing him of committing to raising $10,000, and I think that would be stretching what his own words are. But I'm just basing my opinion on what he's actually said, what he said in front of the committee, what I've read in detail off of the trans. When he first showed up to committee, he gave us a new version of what his original sworn affidavit said. Then in the committee, it was different. Then now this other affidavit. Then today's story about, well, I actually did uh, talk about potentially raising some money. You know, maybe he couldn't get his friends to donate the money, whatever that may be. These are his own words. I'm not putting anything what in What are his the mouth. options that the U.S. Senate has uh, once they start this investigation? They can do the investigation if they, they can censure uh, one of their own colleagues, and they also have the ability to expel one of their colleagues. In order to do that, they need to take a vote of a two-thirds majority of the Senate to remove him from office. But, you know, really, this is completely avoidable if Senator Burris does the right thing and just steps aside. He should resign. I mean, he really should. I think he had an opportunity to be absolutely truthful. Let's keep in mind, this is a former attorney general of the state of Illinois. I can't repeat that enough. If anybody should know what it means to be truthful and what that represents to the people, he should. So, I mean, really, we tell our children they need to be honest, and that means not saying half-truths or quarter-truths. It means saying the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And let's remember, he swore under oath to do that. He did not.